Hello Beauty Beast, this is Younggu. Today I will be cooking a very delicious Korean barbecue uh, along with an Asian chai salad. You might know who I am from MasterChef Korea 4. Um, today there's a lot of crew sitting over there, so I, I'm gonna be prepared for four servings. So let's get started! First of all, I'm going to be preparing for the marinade for the pork. Uh, I think I'm gonna need half of this apple. Take off the core. Because this is a really small apple, obviously. There you go. I'm gonna cut the onion. Oh, the onion is like very rotten inside, so I'm gonna use all the layer. This. But I'm going to make a salad later, so I'm going to save this onion. After that, I'm gonna be needing ginger. Don't put too much because it's really pungent. But like this. By the way, all the detailed recipe will be listed down below, so please check that out. Do you see the bottom part here? Korean people call it the sh whoopsie. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that garlic didn't want to go into this mixer, okay? So I'm going to use the garlic on the table, okay? So I'll let that garlic go. He, he does not want to be blended. So uh, the Korean people call this uh, the shit part of the garlic. It's a very unpleasant name. That's why you have to cut this off. But I don't. I think it's still edible though, because I, you know, I just blend this with everything usually. But for the show, I will cut this off, okay? Just so I will present myself as a clean, nice chef. Put this in. Make sure you use a lot of garlic because Korean food is all about garlic flavor. Add some sugar into my marinade. And some... Next, I'm going to put in some uh, sake, which is uh, Japanese uh, rice wine. But if I have Korean rice wine, uh, the soju, or you have mirin, that would be a really good uh, substitute for it, okay? So knock yourself out, use whatever you want, okay? There you go, that goes in. A little soy sauce. The Korean gochujang, okay? I'm gonna put a lot of gochujang in it because this is the base of this marinade. Because I brought my own gochugaru today, but I'm just gonna use the one from the studio, okay? There you go. Okay. Marinade is ready, I'm going to blend this. Okay, I think this is ready. And last touch, it's not Korean food without a little bit of sesame oil, so. A little goes in. Mm. Smells like the Korean restaurant that you always go. It's really nice, consistency. I'm going to grab a bowl to marinate those beautiful pork in. By the way, this is a pork belly. It's great for a Korean barbecue because it never gets dry. So if you're a horrible cook and don't know how to cook your meat, make sure to get this cut, okay? Because it does not get dry in the fire. So I'm going, to wear, uh, I'm going to wear the glove because I don't like to touch raw meat. But if you like it, go ahead. I mean, the world is your oyster, right? So nothing will stop you. But I'm going to wear my gloves. Into the bowl. Make sure you wash it before. I washed them very, very clean before. And then along with your marinade. Look at that. It looks really red, but it's not that spicy. So don't worry, okay? Okay, now just massage the marinade into the meat. Oh my god, this is looking really, really good. Because actually the, the color red makes you hungry, you know that? That's why Korean food always looks really good because it has, I always have the gochujang in it. It makes it so red. All right, I think that's really, really nice. All right, there you go. To, to sit for like at least 20 or 30 minutes, okay, before you cook. I did not see there's a gigantic, um, Saran wrap around me, okay? Sorry, in my country, it doesn't come with this size, so. Oh my god, this is heavy. All right. To cut this, perfect. Away from me, because it's too big. All right, I'm gonna put this into the fridge. Whoa, <laughs> oh my god, that hurts. <laughs> so while my pork is marinating, I'm going to make the salad for it. 
This is called Yangyang Buchu, which is very, very thin uh, Asian chives. It has a more tender flavor, but whatever country that you live in, if you don't have Asian chives, uh, you might this like baby Asian chives. Um, you know, like so. This is baby Asian chives. I'm going to cut them into a shorter length, like this. Put it in the bowl. And into this bowl, I'm going to cut some onion into it. Remember this really sad onion? I'm going to use this one also because that's the only one I get. I'm, go I'm going to julienne this onion. There you go. Like this. And this is genni, which is uh, Korean perilla leaves. If you don't have this in your country, then I think it's pretty much available in all around the world in Korean market because this is such a necessity sort of ingredients for Korean cuisine. But if you really, really don't have it, then use Japanese shiso. So you roll this leaves up like this, like a cigar, and then you cut like this. This is called a chiffonade cut, which is a very fancy French term to cut. There you go. And congratulations, your veggie prep is done. That was easy, right? Now in this bowl, I'm going to make the dressing for it. First off, I have some orange juice here. And this is a, um, like, actually this is a bottled juice, but because I live in Seoul city, so you know, the food here is really, really expensive. I'm only going to, going to use one tablespoon. That's why I use the bottled juice. But if you have really fresh orange, then go ahead, right? Going to, well, I'm going to use one and uh, one and a half tablespoon. This is Korean mustard. If you don't have this, you can use Dijon mustard, but Dijon mustard is really, really strong. So make sure you have to reduce the amount when you use it. Cause I'm looking for a really pungent heat to balance out heavy flavor from the pork. So make sure to use a liberate amount. I'm going to use about the same amount that I use the orange juice. Mm, this is vinegar for sure. I'm going to add some vinegar. I'm going to add some salt into this because obviously everything needs salt and your delicious dressing is done. How easy was that, right? And in a large bowl, I'm going to combine my veggies. So before, uh, so before I put my pork into the oven, I'm going to oil my grill pan. It's really big like this. I'm gonna put some oil in here. I'm going to brush this rack with oil just so the pork does not stick onto, onto the rack. Like this. Brush, 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 okay? Make sure you liberally oil the rack just so nothing will stick on, on this. And I'm going to take my pork out and put this, put all my porks onto this rack. Mm. It's only been like 10 minutes because uh, we can't stay in the studio for too long. But if you're doing this at home, right? You can put this in the fridge as long as like All right. Oh my God, my fingers are not getting in. There you go. Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> Let's put our pork onto the rack. Those are really thin cut of pork, so they're, they're going to be cooked really, really fast in the oven. I'm going to put them in the, into the oven for like five minutes and see how, how it goes. My oven is preheated into 200 degrees Celsius. There you go, the last piece. Some extra sauce on there. I'm going to cook the rest of the pork uh, later, just so I can demonstrate uh, the plating uh, right now, okay? There you go. So let's just put the pork into the oven, shall we? There we go. I'm very, very excited. There you go. So I'm going to quickly blanch my kale, because it's really good for your health just for like 15 seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, okay, I can't even talk, okay? Those are perfect now. I think my pork is done, so I'm, I'm going to take them out. Oh my God, they look really, really good. So what I'm going to do is 
Of course, I'm going to try them because they just came out from the oven. And I have to make sure they're really, really good. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to use my hand. Please excuse me. Grilling this in the oven is so much better on the pan. It's delicious. It's really, really good. First off, I'm going to make the salad. That's my dressing. My vegetable is flying out of the bowl. So please make sure when you are doing it, use a bigger bowl than me, okay? There you go. That's my salad and it, it is done. So I'm going to... So the first presentation uh, is only simply meat and uh, the salad. I'm gonna put some meat on it like this. The combination of the red and green looks really good. And finally, the last touch, you know, this is chakaru, which is minced pine nut. It's a very delicate sort of decoration for Korean cuisine. Also, it has a really nice nutty flavor at the end. So I'm going to put this on top of the meat, just so it looks nice, right? There you go. <laughs> the first one is done. So I'm going to show another variation of how you can eat this dish. I happen to have a lot of time yesterday at home and have nothing to do. So I made some buns, okay? So what you can do is you can put this salad and the pork inside, eat like a hamburger. Who doesn't like a hamburger, okay? You'll like it. First one, and this is granulated um, sesame seed. I'm going to use this as a garnish, as if this didn't need any garnish because it looks really nice already. Ooh la la, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to do the third way. This is some kale that I blanched earlier. They're nice and blanched already. And Because the bottom of the rice, because the bottom of the rice, can you see it? Because the bottom of the rice uh, our, became nurungji, which is uh, toasted, toasted rice. So it's really hard to get those white rice out of the pot. But I will try. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. I'm just gonna demonstrate to you, okay? But when you do it at home, you have a rice cooker, right? So you have more rice. So I'm gonna put some um, sesame seed in here along with some sesame oil. There you go. And why not? Some, some uh, pine nut as well. If you don't have pine nuts at home, don't put it. Okay, I think that's good. I don't like too salty. And this is basically your seasoned rice for your sam. Sam is actually refers to a sort of Korean food that is wrapped in any sort of lettuce. And it goes great with the Korean barbecue I made today. So that's another a variation that I, I can show you to eat with this uh, recipe. See, I give you so many options to choose, right? Rice is ready. I'm going to scoop my rice with an ice cream scoop just so every scoop is perfect and all the sam looks the same. So like this much on my hand. Pack the rice in just so it does not go anywhere. So like this. Today, I made this Korean pork barbecue along with this Asian chai salad. I hope you really liked this video and enjoyed it. If you have anything that you would like to see in the future, please leave a comment down below because I will make sure I will read all of them and make them in the future for you, okay? So this, uh, this is the original version of it and those are the uh, two more variations that which you can eat with this recipe. Please have a lot of support and love for us uh, Beauty Beast. I will see you very soon in the future with more fun and delicious recipes. Please make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Have a very nice day, guys. Thank you. Bye. Annyeong. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>